is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we have another edition of my damn thoughts and today we are covering wwe elite series 91 now i do apologize for my voice if it sounds a little hoarse sounds a little deep or it sounds a little bit off it's because i'm dealing with like this crud it's not like covid or like cold or anything like that it's just kind of like some i don't even know i guess the weather change it's been really hot and then it'll get really cold it's like giving me a sore throat a little bit but i feel great like i feel overall fine it's just my voice and my my just my throat a little bit but i'm i'm totally good but today man we're diving into my damn thoughts about wwe elite series 91 very impressive set if you guys don't know what my damn thoughts is my damn thoughts is actually an episodic series where we take a full wave of wwe aew or it's just a specific subject about wrestling or action figures and we cover it it's my damn thoughts we kind of break down the whole set we kind of just look at the details of the set talk about it the best the worst the everything around the set as a whole so not only are we going to break down this set and get into all the details but we're also going to rank this set and talk about some of the best things about the set and the worst things about the set so the first thoughts about this set is that i feel like a lot of people were hyped about this wave i feel like this wave was very hyped over i feel like it was deservedly so you have a hulk hogan returning to the main line you have rvd which we haven't seen in almost 70 waves of wwe elites we have a great bianca belair women's figure and KO and Sami Zayn get the best versions of their figures with double jointed arms. Every figure here has double jointed arms and so really step forward. I think that the hype was definitely necessary and I would say overall that the hype, it lived up to it. I think the whole wave lived up to the hype and that is a great sign to see. You hate to have something, you know, very hyped up and then you get it in hand and you're like, this sucks. So I think overall this set lived up to the hype. I think that, you know, all the figures in the wave are very good. I enjoy every figure here and that is going to make the ranking on us very, very difficult. But I wanted to get my first thoughts of the wave and what I initially thought when we saw them out of the way. And my first thoughts initially were, good God, this is impressive. And it, it's just as impressive in the hand. Now, guys, we're going to get into the shelf warmer of the set. The figure that I think is going to shelf warm the most out of this set. And I have two different candidates. You guys can let me know what you think down below. But my shelf warm candidates, I think it's going to be Austin Theory or Sami Zayn. Now, you're probably thinking that Sami Zayn is incredible. Why would it shelf warm? And it's not necessarily his fault. I just think that not a lot like good wrestling fans or like hardcore wrestling fans know who Sami Zayn is but I feel like passing on the shelf a lot of people aren't going to know who this guy is you know they look up there and they're like damn but if you're a hardcore wrestling fan and you look up on the shelf and see this guy you're definitely going to want to get him and for those reasons I went with Austin Theory as well just not that well known just yet you know he's not like a big prominent name I feel like these four right here were probably going to go first because they're on TV a lot they're main players and Austin Theory is getting there and he's starting to, to warm up and he's starting to get more TV time more more TV exposure, but I think at the end of the day, one of these two figures will shelf warm the most. But if you want my honest opinion, I feel like none of them are going to be hardcore shelf warmers where there's like three or four on the pegs for multiple weeks at a time. I just think that if somebody were to grab one off the set at the last minute or they were the, the last few to pick from, it will be these two. These will be the last one. You know, they'll, they'll be the slim pickings from the set, but that's a damn shame because they're both very, very good figures. So that's not saying those figures are bad in any way. I just think that overall likeness, recognition, things like like that that is going to hurt those two figures when these figures hit retail probably late february early march now we talked about the shelf warmer in the set let's dive into the hottest figure in the set the figure that is going to fly off the shelves the most and for that i'm going with hulk hogan or rvd now i think that overall it's probably going to be hulk hogan i could see this hulk hogan flying off shelves you know everybody's going to want this hulk, this hulk hogan figure and i hope that nobody wants the rvd right i hope that nobody wants the rvd so that i can get my hands on some more rvd figures like this because it's just a beauty of a figure it's it's outstanding however i think that these two are easily going to be the hottest, right? I mean, it's freaking Hulk Hogan. He's going to fly off shelves. He's the most famous out of this whole wave. So if I had to nail it down to one figure, I'd probably say Hulk Hogan will fly off shelves, even though his DM figure rotted on shelves. I don't know. Maybe maybe he won't fly off shelves. RVD will be up there as well. But I think those two guys, the, the flashback figures, the figures that bring that nostalgia out are going to fly off the shelves first. And that is what my uh, reasoning is for Hulk Hogan and RVD being the hottest players in the set. Now, I guess we can break into how many figures of each of these people people do we have you know is this their first figure is this their 12th figure or it, what, whatever the case is let's go ahead and break that down starting out first with hulk hogan now for hulk hogan this is actually his sixth elite figure if you're not counting the two or three ultimate editions that we are getting you know we did get the amazon exclusive hulk hogan ultimate edition we got the hollywood hulk hogan ultimate edition if you don't count those and the one upcoming ultimate edition he does have six elites including this one he has the elite 
four. He has the ringside exclusive. He has the Elite Survivor Series figure. He has his Hall of Fame figure. And then he has his Defining Moments. And then, of course, we do have this one in hand right now. And he has his Ultimate Editions. Now, you think that there's just so many Hulk Hogan's, but there's really not. He has a lot of basics. He has a lot of things like that. But we're just getting started on his different looks. Like, there are going to be so many more Hulk Hogan's made. And that's good to a certain extent for sure. But I like this figure. I think this is a solid figure. And this is our sixth Elite Hulk Hogan. Now, getting into Bianca Belair, this is actually just our second Elite Bianca Belair. You have this one right here, the Elite 91, and then you have the Elite 81, and I actually have it laying right here, so I'll go ahead and show it off. There is the Elite 81 Bianca, and both of her figures are phenomenal. I think that she ha has been super consistent so far in her Elite, you know, uh, career, and I think it'll only get better from here because, you know, the technology, things like that, a lot of people are going to end up not having any bad figures because they have double jointed arms, and they have this, and they have that, so that'll be really impressive, but Bianca starts out two for two in her career because this figure is bomb as F. I, I honestly want to put these boots over here and then paint them up in red or something, but the, these two are very sick figures, and Bianca Belair should be proud of her second ever figure or her second ever Elite. She does have multiple basics, but we're talking about Elites only in this video. Now, getting into Austin Theory, this is his first Elite ever. We do not have any Elites of him before. We do have a couple basics. We have a regular basic, and then we have a Chase variant basic in the wave. He has an all-black tights look, and then he has a red look, and this is his first Elite ever in Elite 91. Damn good figure, and this is kind of one of those guys that I said, you know, uh, he, he does have an oversized head for sure, but he's one of those guys that every single elite he gets is going to be great because he gets the double joint with the arm treatment. He gets the double joint knees. The figure feels phenomenal in the hand. It's just one of those figures that looks and feels really, really good. So also in theory, God bless, but he only has one figure right now. Next up, guys, is going to be Rob Van Dam, and Rob Van Dam only has two figures. He has the Elite 91 that we're holding right now, and he has the Elite Series 27 figure, which was very sought after. It was a great figure, and it's been a very long time since we got his last Elite, but now we can finally have it back in our collections, and it's one that's updated. It does have a similar head sculpt. It doesn't have a true effects head sculpt, but it's still a really good figure. Really excited to add this to the collection, and it's just a beast. Look at it. I, I, my God. Only two Elites for RVD is a damn shame. Moving on to KO. Now, this is the guy who has the most figures out of everyone in this video, and it's kind of unbelievable until you break it all down. So for Kevin Owens, he has been around since Elite Series 43, which is almost 50 series ago, which is kind of crazy. For his figures, you have the Elite 43, you have the Elite 47, the Elite 53, the Epic Moments 2-pack with Chris Jericho, the Elite 60, the Elite 66, the Elite 66 Chase variant, the WrestleMania figure, the Elite 80, and the Elite 91 that I'm holding right here in my hand. So... Kevin Owens has a ton of figures, multiples that look very, very similar, but they continue to improve him. He has his tattoos. He gets a different shirt graphic. He gets an updated head sculpt pretty much every single time. And it is beautiful to see, I will say. So getting all those figures, man, is really, really excellent. I think Kevin Owens is one of the stars of the set. I love Kevin Owens. You guys know that I love him. So I don't have any issues with it, but he has a ton of figures. And uh, Elite 91 is the, the most recent installment. And then for Sami Zayn, Sami Zayn has a decent amount. He has five Elites, counting this one. You have the Elite 40, the Elite 51, the then now forever Walmart exclusive Elite, the Elite 63, and then the Elite 91 that I'm holding right here in my hand. So five Elites for Sami Zayn. He's been a while, around for a while. And I remember... I miss little sets like the Then Now Forever series, man. Like, trying to hunt those downs and stuff. I, I, I loved that. I hope we can get back to some... I don't know. I just felt like that set was really impressive. And, like, we had the three-pack. Remember, we had, like, the, the Beach three-pack and the Shield three-pack. Those were really fun to hunt down. So, I kind of... I low-key miss doing some of that stuff. But, I don't know how you guys feel about that. For the Chase variants in this set, it was going to be RVD. But, we ended up getting that figure canceled. That figure was canceled. We did not end up getting that figure. So, there's no Chase variant in this set for you to hunt down. I'm sure it's out there somewhere. Like, there's a factory with a bunch of them in a box or there's probably a bunch laying around somewhere i know bill has one iconic canceled chase rvd figure so that will be interesting to see i don't even know if anybody will ever get their hands on that but it is out there like it exists i just don't know how many exist and how you'd ever get your hands on it but he is no longer being made so we just have the regular version right here we did a whole video on the on the controversy around the chase variant rvd if you guys want to go look at that but there's no chase to hunt down for this set so that does make it less stressful when you're trying to complete your collection 
ones. Now let's talk about head sculpts. For me, I went with the best head sculpt in the set. I went with Kevin Owens. I think that KO has the best head sculpt here. I think he has the most likeness. He has the most details. It looks just like Kevin Owens. I think runners up like Sami Zayn was good. Bianca Belair was good. Theory was good, but his head was oversized. RVD and Hulk Hogan have the worst head sculpts in the set, in my honest opinion. I just think they lack details. They don't have the true effects technology. Looks really cartoony, but this KO is damn good. Look how freaking beautiful. It looks just like Kevin Owens. So I didn't have any issues putting KO at the number one spot for the best head sculpt in this set, and that doesn't bother me. I'm not going to lose any sleep at night. Now, if we get into Hulk Hogan, he's going to be our worst head sculpt in the set, and it's because it's a head sculpt we've seen so many damn times, and it's just one of those figures that, like, I don't know, man. It's just so cartoony compared to everybody else. Everybody else has a real, like, true effects looking style to him, and this one's very cartoony looking. It looks a bit comic booky, and uh, it just doesn't hit the mark for me. And I have, like, a misprinted eye a little bit there, so Hulk Hogan's going to get the worst head sculpt in the set. There's not really an atrocious head sculpt in this set, but at the end of the day, if I wanted to give it to somebody, it would be Hulk Hogan. So I went with Hulk Hogan as the worst, you know, uh, head sculpt in the set, and KO as the best head sculpt in the set. Now, as far as best articulation and worst articulation, for the best articulation, I went with Austin Theory. Austin Theory is an amazing figure in the hand. He feels incredible. He can pose all around. You know, you get the double ab crunch. You get the great head sculpt. You get the, you know, the double jointed arms. He is on ball joints. He can do the splits. He's like upper thigh cut. This guy can pose around, do every pose that you need him to, and he's not limited by, you know, uh, rubber mold shirts or, or, you know, the pine cone style joints or any of that stuff, man. He is full bulletproof with articulation, and the worst articulation is going to go to Bianca Belair. Unfortunately, she does get a wide kick here, but her boots, you know, they, they're like basic boots. They don't have any, they don't have any ankle pivot. They don't have any ab crunch for real, and uh, that, that hurts the figure, and it's not even a bad figure. Like, it's a really good women's figure, but compared to the rest of the figures in the set, it can't really bend over that well. Now, last but not least, guys, we are going to talk about the best accessory, and then we're going to rank the set, you know, out of a 1 to 10 rating. So, the best accessory for me is going to be Sami Zayn's jacket. Sami Zayn's jacket is the best, man. Like, look at it. It just, it's it's a cloth jacket. Fits the figure really well. This is the kind of jacket accessories and the stuff that we want out of our WWE Mattel action figure. So, you guys can see here. Got the cloth, got the looseness here. It's got a hood on it, but it doesn't have, you know, it's not, it's not the best hood, honestly. I don't even know why they gave that to us, because it can't even really be a hood. However, at the end of the day, it's still a very detailed jacket. You get some flaps on there. It's like custom made. It's not like a normal jacket we've seen in the past. They added some stuff to it, and it's cloth, and it moves around very well. That's the kind of stuff that I want out of my WWE figures, because you can use that for different guys. You can put that on Darby Allen on your AEW figures. You can put it on a bunch of random guys. So I love jacket accessories like that, and cloth good accessories are just, you know, they make the world go round, I like to say. And last but not least, guys, we're going to rank the set out of a 1 to 10 rating, and this set is very, very good, and I gave it a rating of 9.5 out of 10. Just a few slight things keeping it from a perfect wave. I think the Hulk Hogan could be slightly better in areas, and I think that the Austin Theory head sculpt is oversized, and the Bianca Belair having the basic boots kind of hurts the wave. You know, it's a elite figure, man. We don't need these basic boots. I know it's a women's figure, but that shouldn't be an excuse, man. The women's figure should be just as damn good as the men's. Have the elite articulation. Have the Ultimate Edition style stuff that gets implemented sometimes. There's no reason for that, so I docked it a few points. You can give it like a 9 to a 9.5 out of 10, in my personal opinion. I think it's one of the better sets of all time. I think that Elite 90 was really good. Elite 69 is always an iconic wave that people talk about. It's one of the best sets ever. So this is right up there with that. I think this is a damn good wave, and I'm excited for it. I was really impressed with it. If you guys missed any reviews on the set, definitely go check it out. But I'm going to give it an official rating of 9.5 out of 10. And with all that being said, let's rank the set. So coming in at the bottom of the ranking, totally garbage to be honest. It's a really damn good figure, but I got to go with Bianca Belair. At the end of the day, she did have the basic boots. Her Elite 81 figure is so damn good. So it's, you know, it's, it's, it wasn't one that I was like super over the moon excited for because her Elite 81 was so good. It was like, we're getting another Bianca Belair. That's so good again. You know what I mean? I love the gear. I like the head sculpt. The earrings I've almost lost already like six times. So I got to be careful with that. You need to be careful with that as well. But at the end of the day, I just think she was a part of like a legendary wave and that hurt her in the ranking. Coming in at number five, man, I'm going with Austin Theory. Oversized head sculpt. Not that excited for the figure. Not that big of a fan of the guy, but damn, it's a good figure. It is a really good figure. I must say, I think the formula is damn near perfect. Oversized head sculpt is there. I like the attire and everything. It feels really good in the hand. It's just one of those figures that I'm, I just wasn't that excited for. And I'm sure he'll grow on me some more and he'll increase up the wave. But Austin Theory comes in at number five. Coming in at number four is going to be Hulk Hogan. And Hulk Hogan just, he, he could have been number one, really. He could have been top two. He could have been the, the number one in the set. But it lacks details in the tights. The head sculpt's not the best. I feel like they could have used a different formula for the guy. And it just lacks 
lacks those impressive details like in the face or the tights that you really want to see and that docked it a lot so I did come in he did come in at number four I was excited for this figure I was really excited to add it to the collection but at the end of the day he comes in at number four because he lacks some details getting into our top three I'm going with Sami Zayn at the number three spot I thought that this figure is fantastic I don't like that they changed the the boot mold somebody said they could have used Colonel Mustafa legs and he could have had his regular boot mold I haven't seen the Colonel Mustafa figure I don't think I own that figure just yet the target exclusive so I couldn't tell you if that would be accurate or not but uh, if they could have fixed that easily I don't know why they wouldn't have done that but he does have the cloth jacket I love Sami Zayn I think it's a perfect updated figure they left off chest hair which bothers me I think an IC title would have been cool to come with this figure instead of the Sami award but at the end of the day it's a damn good figure I like it a lot and it came in at number three and coming down to two and one we have my boy Kevin Owens and RVD and for the final ranking I'm going to go KO at number two and RVD at number one this RVD figure is one of my favorite Mattel figures they've ever made it's just uh it's one of those iconic figures that I love hopefully we'll get a true effects updated basic head I can throw it on this figure all those different things but RVD the tiger stripes gear is super iconic I just can't believe they made it I've been begging Mattel for this figure forever and they finally delivered on it so it had to come in at number one and it is uh it's that damn good so RVD at number one Kevin Owens at number two pretty self-explanatory right best head sculpt I love Kevin Owens all the tattoos the double jointed arms great attire all those different things for KO he gets the ladder accessory number three Sami Zayn number four is going to be Hulk Hogan number five is going to be Austin Theory and last but not least we have Bianca Belair and just because a figure came in at the bottom of the ranking doesn't mean that it's not good at all and doesn't have any good qualities about it just because a figure comes in at number one doesn't mean it's without any faults whatsoever and this is just my ranking man these are my damn thoughts so let me know yours down in the comment section below but I'm getting out of here man thank you so much for watching let me know all your thoughts on this wave as well as your thoughts on my damn thoughts but thank you for watching subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram twitter and tiktok of my damn toys i'll see you guys in the next video thank you and remember these are my damn thoughts you cross the line i've been